Hi, good morning, it's Gene from the Mavstar Observatory. As you can see, our CO2 chart of the last 400,000 years has expanded a little bit to include a little bar at the bottom, I'll go through that in a minute, and also this image I found on the internet, which states, NASA says the Earth is greener today than 20 years ago, thanks to India and China. Tell me something, is that a bad thing, that our Earth is looking greener? Would these people prefer it to look like Mars. What sort of people want to destroy our Earth and oppose the fact that it's looking healthier? Where, where are we today with all the technology that we've gained to come to the conclusions that we have globally to accuse CO2 of being a bad thing when clearly NASA's imagery that in the last 20 years the earth is looking better for the simple fact there is more CO2 in the atmosphere than there was probably 20 years ago. It makes me think that the world has been taken over. If I just take my scientific brain out, it makes me think that we have been taken over by an alien species that want to see the world destroyed. They would prefer our earth to look like Mars than they would a lush green planet with liquid water on its surface because that's exactly the state of mindset that these people that are in control today are doing and would rather see I've put the uh, parts per million bar down there starting with red at 150 then 400 parts per million in yellow and then green all the way up to 1500 parts per million and then yellow after that point You've seen in the last few videos that I've done the readings which I have obtained through the CO2 uh, sensor by putting it out in the atmosphere, you know, in a relatively clean environment where we live, you know, we're not in the city. And you've seen the parts per million at 385, was it, the other day? So below 400 parts per million. And the point is of putting that bar there is to show you that when we get down to 150 parts per million the vegetation on our planet shuts down or begins to shut down it thrives obviously at the levels it's at now and it can thrive even more as we know because industrial producers of plants herbs in greenhouses actually inject co2 into the greenhouse to saturate the environment with co2 because they know that the plants will do a lot better for it. I showed you the other day that the readings I got from outside were 385 parts per million. I also showed you the readings in my living room at 1,200 parts per million. But I did tell you that in some mornings, you know, and I switch on the CO2 meter, the readings can be as high as 1,500. But what people might get confused with is if there's more CO2 in the living room, or in our environment that means there's less oxygen and one of the reasons I built the um, state-of-the-art oxygen detector was to show you that that's not the case we're talking about a trace element in our atmosphere when we're talking about CO2 it makes up less than one percent of our atmosphere the majority of our atmosphere as you know is nitrogen and the second largest contributor to our atmosphere is oxygen at 21 percent you can see by the chart i've put down there how close we are to driving the world into reverse from flourishing like we see on this map and satellite imagery if we reduce the amount of co2 we can see what will happen in 20 years if we cut out all co2 for some apparent reason we was able to do that every bit of vegetation on our planet would die and as a result our species along with lots of other species across the range of biodiversities on this planet would die so what i ask you guys what people want to kill our planet what people don't want to see like we see in this satellite imagery that world become a greener place where species thrive what sort of people want to do this are they human beings at, even at all 
this has got completely out of hand and it needs to be dealt with because we are approaching a time where we need to all agree on one thing and we need to drive a plan forward so that the continuity of the whole human race thrives into the future as we come across this boundary that which we're about to cross as you can see it has happened five times before and it is going to happen again we are going to at some point emerge into a cooler environment described as a glacial period full stop we are on the precipice of entering this era perhaps for the first time in a technological age where humans have managed to strive for the last 200 years to the point of technology we've got today we have an opportunity to gracefully move into this next glacial period and still thrive but we have what can only be described as delusional psychopaths wanting to do something completely insane as far as I'm concerned by even bringing up the subject of such a inert, well not inert, but trace element of CO2 and blaming it clearly on all the world's foes. It's, it's, it's an unbelievable time. It's like I've just got off the train and realised that at some point on the journey, my brain was washed out of all common sense and now I've arrived on the platform along with delusional people. It's a strange, strange world we live in and it doesn't make any sense to me. What is the point in having any scientific understanding when the world which you wake up in every day doesn't use that knowledge in a productive manner? Can you believe it? Al Gore gets a Nobel Prize for su suggesting we cut CO2 and make the world look like Mars. We call somebody the person of the year, Greta Thornburg, because she stands in front of the European Union demanding that we have taken something from her. And we have people like, you know, that are part of Greenpeace and Extinction Rebellion that have these massive movements and are completely unaware of the true reality and the facts that are presented there for them if they took the time to examine the truth. Even when they know what they're doing is wrong, they continue to do it. And that is what's led to where we are right now. We are unprepared as we move into this next glacial period and as a result many many people on this planet are at threat there's nothing stopping us spinning all this round but from where I sit we can't even talk sense to these people we can't even get it across that what they're saying isn't true CO2 is not an evil particle in our atmosphere destroying the earth co2 is a friend of the earth and it makes the world go greener obviously nasa show us this in this imagery we can see that china and india may be the biggest polluters of co2 but as a result if they're blaming china and india for making the world a greener place then they are the heroes of the world aren't they not wouldn't you agree on that we know that other than CO2 if we're going to be sensible we know that there's a lot, of, a lot of other particulates that get put out into the atmosphere through industry in these countries we know they're not probably the cleanest but you know if it's a crime to put CO2 into the atmosphere and make the world a greener place then what sort of world are we living in who, who are we pointing the finger at for doing that and are they wrong to do it I just sometimes don't understand the world we live in. I don't understand it. How can, how can people accuse 
CO2 have been a bad thing. When, look how close we are to reducing and shutting down the driving force that makes our world greener and makes the, all the other species, including ourselves, thrive. You know, we're coming into a time where the production is, of food is becoming harder because of the changing climate. And we want to, on top of that, reduce CO2. So it's insane. If you ask me, anywhere in that green bar would be, would be perfect. In the middle somewhere, 800 parts per million would be perfect. No one would be harmed in any way or form with an atmosphere of, you know, 800 parts per million. And we could double the production of CO2 and the only thing that would happen is the green would expand even more across the earth. Is that a bad thing? Have we not done enough harm to our planet in wiping out forests, wiping out all those species before we even discovered some of these species in these forests? We wiped them out. We made them extinct. Is that the progression we want to take into the future? I just thought you know, by putting a few of these things in perspective might help a few people understand something about CO2 and this delusion that's going on right now and make you question these people that are driving a ban on CO2 and, and portraying it as an evil particle in our atmosphere when clearly they couldn't be further from the truth and it makes me wonder whether they're human and whether they actually love the planet that they're on you know, we've got people like Greenpeace in this world that want to ban our world going greener. we got Extinction Rebellion telling people that they're going to die, a billion people's going to die in the next 10 years for the complete wrong reasons. The, the people will die for the, in the next 10 years because of the lack of action taken by governments to understand charts such as this that we're looking at. We've got no emergency tracked vehicles. We haven't prepared the utilities. The electric companies haven't prepared for what is coming. The water companies haven't prepared the infrastructure within our cities. And they are going to become stagnant cities when the energy doesn't get into them. We've seen what happens when the grid goes down alone. Everything else crashes down around it. Guys, I won't go on. I think I've, I've made my point. Um, you know, we're at one of the worst points in our in the year for the um, observatory. If you want to help us continue what some people would call good work, you know, there's a link down there you can help support it with. Trust me, there's a lot worse things you can do with your money than support an observatory which is trying to first of all educate people to the truth and you know follow these anomalies as we go closer towards the point of where they become a daily reality for all of us so the links down there and i'll say what i usually do have a great day and as always bye for now